Since 2005, every Indian citizen has the right to demand transparency from the government. From Prime Minister Modi's official expenses to progress reports on welfare programs. But the government isn't always as forthcoming as it should be, especially considering the risk involved for the government and for those who file them. Here's a quick guide to RTI to stay informed and to stay out of trouble. Step 1. Identifying the target. RTI inquiries that are specifically addressed are more likely to get a solid response. Ask yourself, is your query of local importance or national importance? And once you figure that out, identify the ministry and the exact department. Step 2. Framing the question. You get only one shot per inquiry, so don't waste it. Say you're curious about Prime Minister Modi's many diplomatic visits this year. Asking how many trips has the prime minister taken and how much did they cost will get you an immediate rejection. But here's a simple cheat code. According to the law, the government has to give you a breakdown anyway, and you can use this to your advantage. Like this wisely framed 2018 RTI inquiry got this reply. One question, two answers. Step 3 filing the inquiry an RTI can only be filed in hindi or english and has to include a government issued id and a processing fee of rupees 10 it can simply be written on an a4 size sheet with all these details and sent by speed post or hand delivered to the appropriate department you can even do it online step 4 getting a reply officially it shouldn't take more than 30 days to get a reply either with your answer or with a rejection But considering the 25% success rate, prepare for the latter. Sometimes rejections are purely due to filing errors, in which case you can try again. But most times it's because you ventured into the restricted section, where information is protected from the right to information for national security reasons, or just too old to retrieve. So if it has anything to do with defense, especially in Jammu and Kashmir or the Northeast, it's probably getting rejected. And in case you have questions related to human rights violations, expect a much longer waiting period since such RTIs need special permission from the central government. Step 5: Take some precautions. Unfortunately, sometimes asking the right question could mean stumbling upon a huge scam or scandal. And this can be dangerous. The list of RTI activists that were threatened, attacked or killed for digging too deep into shady government dealings is endless. So understand the risks involved with RTI and make sure you contact the right people if you think you've stumbled upon something big. Attacks and murders of RTI activists, investigative reporters and whistleblowers are surprisingly common in India. Watch our video about it here and like and subscribe to the WTD news channel.